loud as I can preach it to warn you, the King is coming, Jesus is coming, judgment is coming, the wrath of God is coming on planet Earth. For 2,023 years, mankind has been rejecting the Son of the living God. Jesus Christ's crucifixion on that cross is full payment for the sin. They've been rejecting God. All the abortions that mankind does, the wickedness that's in their hearts, and going the broad way of destruction and saying, God, I don't need you. God, I don't want you. Just ask yourself and look around, ladies and gentlemen. Open up your eyes. Jesus is coming. Your Creator and your God is coming to this earth. Open your eyes up. Ask your friend standing next to you, do you believe in Jesus? Have you trusted in Christ? Do you believe in God? Do you have time for God? Do you talk about God? No, most are going the broad way of destruction, rejecting their creator, rejecting their God, and saying, God, I don't want you. <clears throat> God, I don't need you. Most are going that way. Wake up, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is coming. The King is coming. He's going to pour out seven years of wrath on this earth. Seven years of tribulation will come upon this earth. It's called the time of Jacob's trouble. It's called the time of the days of Noah before the flood where evil was continually in men's hearts all the time. Ask yourself, where's your heart today? Is it upon the things of God Almighty? Or is it upon the pleasures of this world? Are you more in love with that iPod you walk around in? Are you more in love with Facebook and Google and all the pleasures you have in this world? Or do you love the God who has created you? Where is your heart today? God Almighty, the God that's created you, the God that loves you, that sent his son into this world to seek and save that which is lost. He's calling you today to come to him and have rest. He's calling you today. He wants to take the stony heart out of you today and give you a heart of flesh. He wants you to give you feelings again, feelings that this world don't have no more. This world is going to hell in a handbasket. Men's hearts are waxed cold, just as the scriptures have foretold. We have armed guards in schools. We have people going shooting children in schools and all the sexual immorality in this world on the internet and nobody bats an eye wake up ladies and gentlemen wake up the time is near the time of the second coming of jesus christ is near seek the lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near the bible said let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord and his God, and he'll abundantly pardon. He'll abundantly pardon and have mercy. He'll have mercy. He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He's a God of forgiveness. He's a God of love. He's a God of salvation. And he's offering it to you while you're alive. He's a God of the living and not a God of the dead. If you die without receiving Christ as your Savior, you will spend eternity in that awful, terrible place prepared for the devil and his angels in that place called the Lake of Fire. Don't go there, ladies and gentlemen. Call upon Jesus Christ today. Call upon the only name given under heaven whereby man must be saved, the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out here. We pray for your souls. We've shared the gospel with you. It's about time to have it settled for all of eternity of where you will spend it. Don't follow the false religions. Don't follow man. Don't follow your rabbi. Don't follow Confucius or Buddha or Muhammad or any of these false prophets. But follow your creator, your king, and your God, the Lord Jesus Christ. For he died on the cross for you, and he lives forevermore. All the false religions, all their leaders are dead, and they are in the grave. But Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, he lives forevermore. He lives and he's on the right hand of God the Father, interceding for mankind. He's the only mediator between God and man. He's Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the Wonderful, the Counselor, the Mighty God that is in Isaiah. Oh, praise God Almighty, I can't help it but praise my Creator, my King, 
and my God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm looking forward to the day when he comes on the clouds in this great glory and majesty and holiness. What would you do if Jesus returned today, ladies and gentlemen? I'll tell you, the one who the Bible describes in Revelation chapter 1, his eyes are a flame of fire, his face shine like the sun in its full strength, his hair is white like snow, and out of his mouth comes a sharp two-edged sword. I'll tell you what you will do 